what's up y'all and welcome back to my channel or if you are new here hello and welcome today's video is going to be sort of a little bonus video so we're not going to be doing any makeup today no tutorials no swatches nothing like that instead we are going to be going through my eyeshadow palette collection and picking out the palettes that y'all will have to choose from for my upcoming throwback thursday video i am so extremely pumped about this i told y'all in my last throwback thursday that i wanted to film this process to kind of bring y'all along for the ride originally i was going to roll this footage into the actual video but the more I got to thinking about it by the time that video goes up you'll already know what palette we're going to play with and nobody wants to watch anything that they already know the outcome of it just makes it kind of boring so instead I thought it would be fun to post this footage every single Sunday it's sort of like a little bonus video so that you can see what your choices are going to be up closes all of that you don't have to watch this video there is no obligation to do so I will have pictures of all the palettes posted in my community section with a poll where you can just kind of vote from there so this is just a little bonus video for those of you who are curious want to see the thought process things like that but let's go ahead and kind of walk over to my collection and start picking out some palettes all right y'all welcome to my closet I uh, straightened it up the best that I could but it is my closet so keep that in mind but this is where I store all of my makeup so everything that I have already tested out and is just in my collection is in these two drawer units so this tall one right here is going to have all of my complexion my powders bronzers concealers highlighters everything that is not an eyeshadow palette is in this drawer unit with the exception of that very bottom drawer down there that one does have some of my smaller palettes high-end palettes mainstream palettes some older ones things like that but this drawer unit over here is where I keep the rest of my eyeshadow palettes so every single eyeshadow palette in my collection with the exception of the ones that came out this current calendar year are in these drawers I keep those other palettes separately because I figured it would be easier when I go to do my palette ranking at the end of the year to not have to dig through everything and figure out which ones are new and which ones aren't. Plus those are irrelevant to this video anyway. But let's go ahead and dig in. So this first drawer is going to be Blend Bunny and Nomad. I don't think there's anything in here that I want to play with. I'm just going to kind of thumb through it really quick. I want to avoid anything that is discontinued or anything that I have played with recently. So, okay, we're going to skip this drawer. We're going to move on to this one right here. This one has my Bella Beauty Bar, Cosmic Beauty, and Ensley Rain. So, I want to save, like, the spooky theme palettes for, like... October. I want to try and do a bunch of those then. But, ooh, you know which one I want to play with? I haven't played with in a long time. We have Muse and we have Serenity back here. If I can get it out, I'm trying to do this with one hand, so bear with me. But I have Serenity as well. And these are both such beautiful palettes, but I think we're going to pull out Muse. So we have our first choice, y'all. All right, let's put those back and move on to the next drawer. Oh, my feet are right there. Okay, I'm going to squat down a little bit. This drawer is going to be my Odin's Eye Adept and Unearthly. So Odin's Eye is hard because I feel like a lot of their stuff is limited edition and it goes really quickly. But I do have the gems... What is this? The Jewels and Gems palette. This one is really pretty and it's been a really long time since I've played with it. So let's go ahead and pull that one out for now. And then let's see, Unearthly. Um, again, I want to save some of these for spooky season. I think those are like perfect for spooky season. But we have Not Normal. This one's beautiful. Okay, we're going to pull that one out. And you know which other one I want to pull out from Adept? The Sumerian Sunset Palette. This one is so, so beautiful. The matte formula in this palette is actually pretty decent. I'm not a big fan of Adept mattes, but the ones in this one aren't bad. So we're going to pull that one out as well. We're already up to four palettes, y'all. This drawer right here is going to be Glam Light, Fantasy Cosmetica. We've got Lethal. We've got Glaminatrix. Wicked Widow, Gourmand Girls, kind of a smattering of things in here, but I think we're going to skip this drawer as well. Yeah, let's move on to the next one. So the further down you go, the more smattering of a collection you have, but this one's going to be Melt, Sigma, I've got Lunar Beauty, 
we've got some Juvia's Place and ColourPop over here. So, is there anything in here? That's such a beautiful palette. Anything in here that we want to play with? I think we're going to skip this drawer too. Let's go down to the next one. So this one, ah, this one is a mess. This one's kind of a big fat disaster. So let's see what's in here to play with. So we've got some sugar drizzle. Um, we've got Beauty Bay, Rebel Rouge, Ace Beauté. Oops, give me glow. Ooh, Jolie Beauty, that's such a beautiful, I love this palette. I think this one's still available. If it's not, I'll take it out, but if it is, this can be an option. Uh-oh, everything's about to hit the floor. So we're gonna keep this one out because this one is so beautiful. This was the first Jolie powder or palette that I ever got. It does have a lot of pressed glitters in it, but the color story is still absolutely beautiful. I love those purples in that one. So we're gonna keep that one out. Um, gosh, I feel like this is really hard because so many of these I feel like you can't get anymore. At least I don't think. I don't know. I have to look up more and see what we can get. But I think, oh, we have this one. Oh, this one's fun too. Maybe I should pull this one out. This is the Tiny Marvels palette from Mel Thompson in collaboration with Sydney Gray's. I haven't played with this one in a really long time. Let's pull that one out. Okay, so we're gonna put these back. I'm just gonna kind of throw them in here. I'll organize this later. Not a big deal. Down here is singles, so we're not even gonna get into that drawer. Let's go to this drawer down here. So this one, let me, hold on. Okay, I had to get on the floor for this one. I couldn't bend over anymore. But this one has like my Pat McGrath. We've got Patrick Ta, Natasha Denona. We've got Huda Beauty, Tarte, Make It by Mario. Like I said, a lot of my more high-end and luxury stuff. Hmm. I don't think I want to pull... Well, I have this one. I haven't even played with this one yet. I bought this one, if I can get it open, I bought this one like major, major sale and it's absolutely beautiful, but I think I want to save that one. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to skip this drawer and we're just going to kind of stick with what we got. I got some ABH back here. All of my discontinued palettes like Jaclyn Hill, Tarte. Too Faced, like stuff that's no longer available, it's really old that I wouldn't put on my eyes, is back there. But I think we've got a good little selection. So let's see what palettes we have and if we need to come back and choose more. All right, y'all, so here are our six finalists. Let's run through these really quick. So up first, we have the Sumerian Sunset Palette from Adept Cosmetics. Absolutely beautiful. We have all these pretty sparkles. We've got the five mattes down there. We have Unearthly Cosmetics, not normal. Very similar to Sumerian Sunset, actually, as far as the mattes go, but still beautiful. We've got Jewels and Gems from Odin's Eye. Very cool tone color story. Tiny Marvels from Sydney Grace and Mel Thompson. Oh, such a pretty palette. Such a shame, but absolutely beautiful. Next, we have the Muse palette from Cosmic Beauty. This is probably one of my absolute favorites from the brand. I love it. This is the first one that I ever got, but beautiful color story. And then last from Jolie Beauty, we have the Sirens palette. So pretty as well. Oh, the choice is gonna be hard, y'all, but it's definitely up to y'all. So I will have close-up pictures, all of that jazz posted over in the community section. So you can go over and vote. Voting will stay open for a couple of days. And I'm excited to see what y'all pick.